Welcome to RT Bros Trading Academy, where we focus on charts and nothing else because news and narrative can be manipulated to take your money. In today's video, we're going to be doing an update on the overall market and see what we should be expecting going forth into the next trading week. So let's dive right in. Now, if you guys have been watching this channel for the last couple of days, you've been very familiar with what I've got going on here, right? So we have our weekly breaker down here at the very bottom. We have this four hour breaker that we've been beating upon for the last few days. We finally broke above it, as well as this massive falling trend line that we've been watching as well for a very long time, right? We expected this to be an explosive movement, and as we can tell, well, this looks pretty explosive to me. Now, the volume is not as impressive as I want to see, but ultimately, this does look like a very clear breakout. Now, we are coming, or we are currently pressed against this massive weekly breaker, okay? And this is expected because there's a weekly breaker to act as a very strong uh, resistance level. However, my primary target is right here in this monthly breaker, which includes the uh, yearly open at around 46,200, as well as right below the 200 moving average as well. So all of this area is really where I'm expecting to take a majority of my profits before we get some sort of consolidation or movement down or something of that nature, right? But right now though, we are currently pressed up against this weekly breaker. Now, if you are doing some sort of a consolidation underneath uh, resistance, this actually can be a very bullish sign. And that may be what we are having here. Now, yesterday I mentioned how I was looking for a sweep above this level. Once we got a sweep, I was expecting to drop and continue back down. Well, we got the sweep, but we did not get the follow through on the drop down. And we are right back in the same range we've been in for the last couple days. So this is a really healthy uh, recovery, guys. And I, it's really hard for me to be that bearish right now. So although my primary bias is still to drop down here and retest this for our breaker, ultimately, this does not look that bad right now. Now, Generally, there's a lot of manipulation that likes to happen right after the weekly close um, on, on a Sunday night. So we are about two and a half hours away from weekly close. So generally, you are going to get some sort of a manipulation around there. We may get some sort of price action in either direction. But ultimately, this does not look that bad. All right. Now, I would also not be entirely confident of we're going to uh, not have the breakdown until Monday open in the New York Stock Exchange. Okay, I want to see what happens on, uh, on Monday open because a lot of times uh, crypto markets do like to dump on Mondays. So if we are able to get past those two major uh, time frames and still be in this area pressed against this weekly breaker, I'm going to go ahead and change my bias to where we are going to expect continued upside into our monthly breaker before ultimately breaking back down. And then we can go from there, right? It may just be a standard retracement back in this region. It may actually be a sweep down here. Ultimately though, I am expecting this monthly breaker to be tested soon. It may be a bounce to the downside, then go up or just break right up there and hit this level. Either way, this is my target that I'm looking for for my initial profit taking. All right, um, I hope that makes sense. And then going on there, let's go to the total three. I bring this chart up every time because I think it's extremely important. Guys, do not ignore this, okay? Weekly breaker, acting as resistance, support, support. We are currently acting as support. We are bouncing off this major level as well as this is a golden pocket retracement, okay? Golden pocket retracement, okay? As long as we hold this level, I have to remain bullish on the altcoin market. I have to, guys. There's just no way for me to avoid this, all right? Total three is all cryptocurrencies except for Ethereum and Bitcoin. This is all of our standard altcoins, all right? This is where we really want to be looking at. So as long as we hold this level, I have to remain bullish. Now on the uh, Bitcoin dominance chart, very similar chart. Um, what, it, what it's telling you is how much money uh, based upon or what percentage of the money of market cap is in Bitcoin relative to altcoins. So the higher this chart goes, the uh, the more money is in Bitcoin relative to altcoins and vice versa, right? So if you're an altcoin trader, you want to see a drop. If you're trading mostly Bitcoin, you want to see it rise, okay? And that's generally what you're looking for. Well, we have this rising wedge. We've broken down from it. We have come back and retest the point of breakout, but we are just consolidating here, right? I would like to see this thing accelerate the downside pretty quickly, guys. If not, we're going to have 
have to assume that Bitcoin is going to be able to shoot up and suck the money out of the market, right? Um, generally, if we do have a massive break on on Bitcoin and we do start going up to the 40, uh, 44 to 46 thousand dollar region, I would expect Bitcoin dominance to shoot up pretty aggressively. That's generally what happens, right? Like whenever Bitcoin did have its massive breakout, we see it right here. A lot of money got sucked out of altcoins into Bitcoin, okay? Um, so in moments of extreme volatility, generally Bitcoin becomes the winner. So just be very careful on that, all right? Um, let's go to XRP. I think XRP looks really, really good right now at one of our main altcoins. Reason why, we have a very clear reclaim of this breaker, okay? We have this daily breaker, retest, broke above, solid retest. Guys, this is perfect. This is exactly what we're looking for in a market structure uh, sort of movement. Um, this looks like a very clean test, all right? Now, um, nothing too serious yet, but this is the level of low time frame action that you want to see to have some sort of a confirmation of a bottom, right? So now, obviously, if we get down below here and we close below it, that would be a very bearish sign. But right now, as long as XRP is holding above here, this looks very clean, all right? And then on XRP as well, Remember the high time frame, guys. Okay, I've talked about this in the Discord many times. This is a falling channel that we are in. We have some deviations on both sides, but ultimately this channel is holding up very well. This is a falling channel, and channels are generally corrective structures. So when we do bust the upside, which I think will happen pretty soon, this should be a pretty explosive movement, okay? Um, and if this breaks the upside, this means XRP is going to gain massive gains relative to the uh, to Bitcoin. Um, someone else take notice of fear greed is still down. Um, we're, we're not, we're more into the neutral territory than real fear. Okay. Last month, uh, whenever I was clamoring, 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 I say, guys, like the bottom is close. The bottom is close. Bottom is close was way down here to extreme fear. The further on this chart, it goes, the more cautious I'm going to become. Okay. Because this is overall sentiment of the market. And generally the sentiment of the market is opposite of the direction the market actually is going to be going. So the higher this number goes, the more bearish I'm going to become. Ultimately though, I'm really looking for my exit in this area. Okay. So if if greed really starts to pop up as we get up here, I will absolutely be unloading a lot of my positions. Okay, um, let's go to the uh, let's go to Discord real quick. So I did update the Discord link. This in the description. Apparently, it was incorrect. So if you guys want to go ahead and reapply the Discord, um, the link should be good. Um, this is the Discord, guys, and I post in here all the time. Okay, like many, 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 many times, I do update this. So make sure you guys are in here. All right, like seriously, there's a ton of information in there. And a uh, majority of it is free. Um, however, if you want to get even additional information, make sure you guys are Patreon subscribers, okay? Because I have three coins I'm looking at right now. One is Shiba, one is Litecoin, and one is AXS. I'll be doing an analysis on all three of those today. Um, but the only way you're going to get those analysis if you guys are in the Patreon, right? So all my $20 ones are already sold out. My $40 ones only have uh, 21 remaining, guys. Only 21 remaining. And then after that, I do have the $80 tier already made. That means I only have 21 spots left of $40 a month. After that, it will increase to $80 a month, okay? So... Make sure you guys are on Discord. Make sure you guys are in Patreon. I think it's an incredibly good deal for the amount of value that you receive. Um, uh, for example, we are doing a challenge account right now uh, as a group. And this, again, only for our Patreon members, right? So we're doing a challenge account. We're taking an account with $5,000 and turning it into $50,000, all right? Um, and I'm updating here all the time, showing you guys exactly how I'm trading it, etc. You will not get this information unless you are Patreon members. Okay. So um, a lot of really good information outside of that. I really don't have anything else to update. I think you guys know what my expectations are for the next couple of days. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video. So like always have a great day and deuces boys. Have a good one. Y'all.